My dear friends, welcome to the second month of this year, 2023. I hope that all that God had spoken in January as a blessing to you was fulfilled and you are so joyous and looking forward to greater things this year and especially this month of February. I know that uh, God is reminded of you and thinking about you, his young people, uh, our dear U-turners, our young partners, and uh, all you associated with the Jesus Calls ministry, this word especially for you. I know that uh, God has a great desire to bless you this month also. Uh, if we look at Ephesians 6, 17, the Lord just says, take the helmet of salvation. If you look at uh, cricketers, especially the batsmen, they all uh, come in wearing a helmet on their head because there's a uh, hard cork ball ready to be thrown at them by the bowler and it's very menacing, it will hurt so bad, so they have to protect themselves. And this helmet gives them a protection over their head and make sure there's no injury happening so that they can play with all their might and be very confident and just hit the ball. They don't need to be afraid that they'll get hit or they'll be knocked down. They can go with all confidence and bat their heart out. And that's how they're able to score uh, many sixes, fours and hundreds and even double centuries and triple centuries. So it gives us a great covering. And this is the helmet of salvation that will give us a covering also, my friends. This salvation will protect our hearts, which is the most important thing. Protect our minds so that no evil is able to penetrate through. No evil attack is able to enter in. You are guarded by the salvation of God and protected. And in that, your life will prosper as you start to bat also, as you start to run your race, as you start to go and accomplish your dreams. Your life will also flourish when you run out of the salvation that God pours into your heart. Keeping the salvation in us is very important. Because sin is treacherous in this world. It can destroy our lives, take its roots deep within our heart and spoil and corrupt everything. And we become nothing at the end. So desperate and de depressed. It will seem great at the beginning, but our life slowly starts to crumble and fall, my friends. Look at a great, righteous, loving person, David. He loved the Lord with all his heart. But allowing one moment of weakness in him, of lust to the beauty of a woman. She was so beautiful to behold that he gave himself to fall into lust and the desire for her with his eyes. And that brought a great weakness as he saw her each day and as he fell for her. The sin began to uh, put roots deep within his heart and it began to corrupt his nature, his feelings, his emotions and bring lustful thoughts into him. That one day he decided to have her for himself and get rid of her husband by putting him in the front lines of the battle in his army and wantedly giving him to be killed by the enemy. And that blood was upon David. A murderous blood was upon David. And God said, because you have done this, you have obtained the curse of sin. Romans 6.23 says, the wages of sin is death. And this curse of sin came upon David and his family. And unfortunately, the child that was born between him and this woman he lusted after was had to be. And this child, which was born out of the lustful relationship between David and this woman had died. That is what sin brings, my friends. It brings great curse and death into our lives. Things die. The Lord does not want this to happen to you. So we are here to plead for this salvation. Give me the helmet of salvation, Lord. I want to encourage you with Philippians 2. 12 and 13, listen to what the Bible says. Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, 
work out your own salvation with fear and trembling for it is god who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure it's beautifully written that not only the presence of your parents telling you or not in the presence of sarvana telling you or in in the presence of meetings in listening to god's word but even in your own life in your private moments work out the salvation with fear and trembling fear before the lord i want your salvation to guard me at all times lord i need it in my life every moment and cry in the morning for this salvation and the lord spirit will fill you for he says for it is god who works in you he will work to bring the salvation in you and work through the salvation in your life to will and to work for his good pleasure to fulfill all that he has determined for you he will work to fulfill this salvation in you you don't need to struggle to be a good person or to have a good nature to protect your heart protect your thoughts you just have to submit and commit to the lord saying give me such a heart lord and the lord will bless you with a divine salvation and the joy of salvation will fill your heart and the holy spirit of god will lead you and give you help in times of your weaknesses in times of your temptations he will talk to you and say don't do that and immediately you will grab on to that obey it and have the strength to resist any taste of evil any taste for temptations may the lord fulfill this this month and make your life flourish i know that many of you are facing obstacles and obstructions not able to proceed forward because of these sins it has taken roots in your life not making you come out and shine in all that god has given you talents it is making you hide it is making you uh, not come out but we are going to be released and come forth and shine you are going to see a difference of god's grace operating and an expansion and accomplishments in all that you do shall we grab on to this helmet of salvation lord we are in desperate need for you to operate in us lord please give us grace we cannot do this alone lord we need your helmet of salvation to protect us lord to take cover inside lord help us take refuge in you master when we hide in you oh how sweet your presence is it strengthens us it makes us bold it makes us confident it makes us rejoice and have great peace when we walk in this world lord that we don't have any need for evil we don't have any need for worries or fears we don't have any need for the devil and his plans lord let it all fall and fail against your children lord let no evil prosper against them master lord we pray that your helmet of salvation will guard them give us a desire every day to yearn for the salvation let us ask it of you lord give us a heart to plead it for, from you with trembling and fear and when we when your children ask you lord i know you will fill them in a mighty way let your joy of salvation come inside everybody who's asking right now everybody who's opening their mouth and saying lord give me this salvation give me this joy let me feel your presence let me have you within my heart lord enter into them holy spirit fill them lord and tremendously let them be lost in your presence let them be lost in your power lord and let a new power a new grace come into them let every curse of sin be removed from their life let every roots of sin be removed from their life lord you have died lord to turn these curses into a blessing for us lord you have fought for it on the cross you prayed for us on the cross lord you spilt your blood for us on the cross it is speaking good for your children lord listen to that voice of your blood which you shed for your children and right now redeem their lives buy their lives with your blood lord and give them a new beginning let them come out and shine lord let all the dead things leave let all the dead habits leave let all the dead desires leave and now let a desire to come out and flourish let a desire to accomplish in their studies accomplish in their work accomplish in their talents accomplish in their profession accomplish with a good nature and bring out christ lord let this all come through them father and let people be amazed at a difference that is seen in your children what a great difference your son your daughter has let them praise you like that lord 
let them all be amazed let your children shine for you this month with all the power of your salvation in jesus name amen my friends enjoy this helmet of salvation which the lord himself is gifting you and he will perfect it so don't worry enjoy it god bless you